Hello fellow electricians, if you're not an electrician and you're watching this, you are very, very boring. Let's talk about tabs. I don't mean the ones you smoke, I don't mean the ones you take that make you dance. I'm on about these type of tabs that you get in regs books, yeah? Now this is a prime example of a book that's been over tabbed. This is mine, I thought I was being clever, when in fact all I was doing was just over complicate matters. Don't tab your regs book up like this, you'll look like a fucking idiot. Whilst I'm on that subject, don't use paper post-it notes. They are fucking garbage. Get yourself some of these. These are made out of plastic. They're a lot more hard wearing and you'll need a pen to write on them. So that's the first tab to be used, these plastic ones. Don't use the paper ones. You'll regret it quite quickly. Second one is, I'm going to use my old regs book for this, my blue ones. It's more tabbed up, but I'll demonstrate it on my brown one. It's first of all... It's like a record collection tabs, they need to be pruned and adjusted to suit your needs. However, one constant is, along the top, I always have the sections 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and the appendices, yeah? So if I get a question on testing, I know that test is part 6. So I flick my finger to part 6 and when I open part 6, it opens up on the contents for that part, yeah? If I get a special location, straight away I know that's part 7. So I put my finger to part seven and where my part seven tab is and I open it up is the contents page to special locations. Within a few seconds, I've managed to look at a question, realize that it's about special locations, tab in to that contents page and reduce the book to that bigger book straight away. And this is the absolute kingpin to getting through the exam quickly. So my new one, I've got one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, eight, and an X. On the old one, and how I actually use my new one is, along the top, I have all the parts. I also have like a tab there for EV, I have a tab there for chapter 53, I have a tab there for symbols. I don't over tab the top. I have the parts of my absolute go-to favorites. That is it. I keep that sparse, keep it lean. Down the side, I have a load of favorites. As you can see, a lot of these just fell in and got fucked because I just know where they are. On the bottom, I don't use any because the book lives like that on the shelf. However, when I'm doing a, a job, um, working out a job, for example, I'll put tabs in the bottom, reference that job I'm doing that week or that day, and I pull them out when I'm done. So remember, all your parts on the top, it must open up to the chapter. You need to know your sections. As soon as you read that question, that's a part five question. That's selection and erection. That's testing. Go straight to a tab, straight to the contents, read the contents page, you'll find the answer is guarded in here straight away. And that is my top tip for passing an 18th edition exam and not having a tab section that looks like a fucking explosion of paper factory. See you later.